turning fruit into art. Apparently it can be done, and The Weekend Gardener is here to show us how. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to The Weekend Gardener. Look at the dinosaur behind me. It makes the garden more interesting, doesn't it? Uh, this is a bitter melon. This is a plant that comes from Asia, has a lot of uses. It's full of quinine, so they use it for treating uh, malaria, one of the things. It also has the, um, the use of treating type 2 diabetes and many other things with this bitter melon that is used in Chinese medicine, which is something we don't know a whole lot about, but we should. And so, but this guy's a great climber. Look at that, a beautiful piece. Look at the seeds, here, here they are. These are the bitter melons right here. These seeds right here are edible, and uh, the fruit is bitter because that's where the name comes from. But I think it's not so bitter for me. It's uh, very much like a cucumber. But anyway, I think that, um, this is something interesting to grow, has many benefits. Anybody from China would recognize it right away. But part of the beauty of this is the design. And Leah Cherner did the work on the design, and let's go visit with Leah. Well, John, we started the design um, in early spring. This uh, melon has been here for a few years and um, just reseeds itself. And so it was growing on a trellis, and we decided to make something a little more interesting out of it and started by putting the head on, which is a stack of tomato cages basically all tied together with chicken wire and zip ties. There's rebar um, at the end and a PVC pipe to actually make that good swoop of the tail. It's very easy to climb. There was no trimming or anything. It just kind of does its own climbing and went into that great shape by itself. So as you can see, the garden can become very creative when you build a little trellis, you find a vine that does very well, and then it really looks good out in the landscape also. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next week.